Every so often, a breakthrough in technology comes along that forces us to completely rethink what the future could look like. These aren't just incremental improvements or the next generation of a familiar device. They're moments that redefine the boundaries of what's possible. It's not just about a better phone or a thinner laptop, but about a fundamental shift in the way we approach computing itself. Today, that shift is embodied by the Meteor One, a chip from China that's being hailed as the world's first parallel optical computing chip, and it's already making waves across the tech world. Instead of simply shrinking transistors and pushing more electrons through ever tinier circuits, this chip takes a bold leap forward by using light, photons, to do the heavy lifting, opening up entirely new possibilities for speed and efficiency. For decades, Moore's law has been the engine of progress, but we're now running up against the physical limits of what electrons can do. They're getting unruly, generating more heat, and wasting more power as we try to cram them into smaller spaces. The Meteor One offers a radical alternative, swapping out electrons for photons like replacing a traffic-jammed highway with a fiber-optic superhighway, where information can travel faster and with far less resistance. This isn't just an upgrade to existing technology. It's a total rethink of how chips are designed and how they function at the most fundamental level. It's not about beating NVIDIA or Intel at their own game, it's about changing the rules of the game entirely and setting a new standard for what's possible in computing. Why is this happening now? The explosion of artificial intelligence, the insatiable demand for data and fierce global tech rivalries are all pushing the limits of what current chips can handle. The Meteor One sits at the crossroads of physics, engineering, and geopolitics, representing not just a technological leap, but a strategic one as well. It's a story of innovation under immense pressure, where the race to solve these challenges could reshape the entire future of computing as we know it. So, what exactly is this chip? How does it work? And what makes it so different from everything that's come before? And can it really challenge the industry giants who have dominated for decades? Or is it just hype? Let's break it down, explore the science behind it, and see if this optical chip is truly the real deal, or just another flash in the pan. The stakes are higher than ever and the entire world is watching to see what happens next. This is more than just a new chip, it's a glimpse into the next era of technology, a preview of what the future could hold if we dare to think differently. Let's dive in. The future of computing might just be a lot brighter, literally and figuratively. Let's get specific. You've probably heard a lot of buzz about the Meteor One chip, but what actually makes it so different from the processors we use today? The Meteor One is a processor, but it's not your typical CPU or GPU. It's a whole new breed of chip, designed to break through the limits of traditional computing. Traditional chips rely on electrons flowing through billions of tiny transistors, switching on and off to process data. The Meteor One, on the other hand, uses photons, tiny particles of light, to process information at incredible speeds. This radical shift required a complete redesign of the chip's architecture, rethinking everything from the ground up. Developed by the innovative Chinese startup Meteor AI, it's built on the principles of parallel optical computing, a field that's only recently become practical. Instead of handling tasks one after another like a single cashier, it processes many at once. Imagine a thousand cashiers working side by side, each handling their own line. Light beams can overlap and travel together without interfering, enabling massive parallelism that electrons simply can't match. Meteor One claims it can perform 3 trillion operations per second, all while using far less power than traditional chips, a truly impressive feat. Because photons don't generate as much heat as electrons, you get more performance per watt, a huge win for data centers which spend millions on cooling. It's a hybrid design, combining both optical and electronic components on a single chip for maximum flexibility and compatibility. Electronics still control the light and connect to the rest of the system but photons do the heavy math, crunching numbers at the speed of light. This is a bridge between today's electronics and a future powered by light, opening the door to new possibilities in computing. It's a proof of concept but a big leap forward, showing what's possible when we rethink the fundamentals. The Meteor One demonstrates that computing with light isn't just a theory or a distant dream, it's real and it's happening now. And if it lives up to its promise, it could change everything about how we live, work, and connect. Why does using light matter? What makes it so revolutionary, compared to the electronics we've relied on for decades? 
there are three main reasons, speed, efficiency, and parallelism. These aren't just buzzwords, they're the foundation of why optical computing could transform the tech landscape. First, speed. Photons, the particles of light, move at the fastest speed in the universe and don't get bogged down by resistance like electrons do in copper wires. This means data can travel much faster with less delay. With no electrical resistance, there are fewer bottlenecks. Signals zip through optical waveguides almost effortlessly, making data transfer smoother and more reliable. Second, power efficiency. Traditional electronic chips waste a lot of energy as heat, which requires extra cooling and increases costs. Photons, on the other hand, generate far less heat, so you get more computing power for every watt of energy used. That's a game changer for data centers and the environment, reducing both energy bills and carbon footprints on a massive scale. Third, parallel processing. Light waves of different colors, called wavelengths, can travel together in the same fiber without interfering with each other. This lets you run many calculations at once, multiplying computing power. This is called wavelength division multiplexing, the same technology that powers today's ultra-fast fiber optic internet, but now it's being used inside computer chips. On a chip, it means you can process multiple streams of data simultaneously, all within the same tiny space, unlocking new levels of performance. The result? Massive speedups for AI, scientific simulations, and other data-heavy tasks that are becoming more common every day. Today's AI models are pushing electronic chips to their limits, consuming huge amounts of energy and generating enormous heat. Optical computing could make bigger, faster, and more efficient AI possible, opening the door to breakthroughs we can only imagine. It's not just an upgrade, it's a new paradigm, a fundamental shift in how we process information. If it delivers on its promise, optical computing could redefine what's possible in technology from supercomputers to everyday devices. The Meteor 1 is the first real step toward that future, showing the world what's possible when we harness the power of light. And the world is taking notice, watching closely as this new era in computing begins to unfold. The Meteor One didn't appear out of nowhere, it's a product of intense pressure. US sanctions have restricted China's access to advanced chips and manufacturing tools, aiming to slow its tech progress. Instead of stalling, these constraints sparked innovation. Chinese companies couldn't compete in traditional chip making, so they explored new paths, like optical computing. Necessity drove them to leapfrog current technology, not just catch up. Optical computing became a strategic pivot. If you can't win by the old rules, invent new ones. The Meteor One is a direct result of this push for self-sufficiency. Massive investment poured into research areas once considered niche. Now, optical computing is front and center. The Meteor One is China's statement. If we can't play in your sandbox, we'll build our own. It's not just about catching up, it's about changing the game, and it's forcing the world to pay attention. So, how does Meteor One stack up against NVIDIA, the king of AI hardware? NVIDIA's GPUs are versatile, powerful, and backed by decades of R&D and a massive software ecosystem. Meteor One isn't trying to be a general-purpose chip, it's a specialist. It's built to accelerate specific AI tasks, like matrix multiplications with extreme efficiency. It won't run your favorite game, but it could revolutionize AI inference. The real metric is performance per watt. If Meteor One delivers similar results using far less power, it's a game-changer for data centers. It's not about replacing NVIDIA, but about excelling in targeted roles. Think of NVIDIA as a full workshop. Meteor One is a revolutionary new power tool. It's not the whole toolbox, but it's a tool every workshop will want. The competition just got a lot more interesting. Let's get real. Optical computing has strengths, but also big hurdles. Its main advantage? Energy efficiency. Doing complex AI math with less power is a huge win for cost and the environment. Specialization is another strength. Meteor One is built for neural network math, making it an ideal accelerator. But the challenges are serious. Manufacturing is tough. Integrating optical and electronic parts on one chip is cutting edge and hard to scale. Even tiny flaws can ruin a chip, so mass production is a major challenge. Then there's software. NVIDIA's CUDA platform is a developer favorite. Meteor One needs its own tools and libraries, and convincing developers to switch is tough. Integration with existing systems must be seamless. Without strong software support, even the best hardware can flop. Building a new ecosystem takes time and investment. The road ahead is steep, but the potential rewards are huge. If Meteor One can overcome these hurdles, it could reshape the industry. But it's a long climb. 
Where will Meteor 1 make the biggest impact? First, in AI data centers, especially for inference where speed and efficiency are everything. Billions of AI queries happen daily and power costs add up fast. Meteor 1 could slash those costs, making AI services cheaper and more accessible. Next, edge computing running AI directly on devices like phones, cars, or sensors. These need powerful, energy-efficient chips, perfect for optical computing. Imagine self-driving cars processing data instantly, or medical devices diagnosing in real time. Finally, scientific research drug discovery, climate modeling, and more. Faster, more efficient simulations could accelerate breakthroughs. Screening thousands of drug molecules in hours instead of weeks, that's the promise. Meteor One could unlock new possibilities across industries. It's not just about speed, it's about enabling what wasn't possible before. The applications are just beginning. Meteor One isn't just a technical feat, it's shaking up the global tech landscape. It proves the race for computing's future is now multipolar, not just dominated by the US and its allies. China's push for self-reliance has produced real innovation, not just catch-up. Now the competition isn't just about making better silicon, but exploring new frontiers like optical computing. This forces everyone, NVIDIA, Intel, AMD, to innovate faster and invest in new tech. Meteor One validates optical computing as a real contender, not just a research project. The result? A more diverse, resilient global supply chain. More players mean less risk of disruption and more options for the world. Meteor One is a symbol of a changing tech order, more complex, competitive, and innovative. The stakes are higher and the pace is accelerating. The world of chips just got a lot more interesting. So, what's the big picture? Meteor One is a bold leap into optical computing, tackling the limits of Moore's law and AI's energy demands. It won't replace your NVIDIA card tomorrow, but it's a glimpse of a new future. Imagine data centers cooled by a breeze, or powerful AI running on your phone. This isn't just theory, it's working silicon. Geopolitical pressure fueled this innovation, showing how adversity can drive progress. The global race for better, faster, more efficient computing is on. Meteor One has opened a new front, proving the future isn't a single path but a multi-lane highway. For tech lovers, that's exciting. The next decade will be anything but boring. Will Meteor One outshine NVIDIA? Too soon to say. But it's changed the game and everyone's watching. The future of computing just got a lot brighter.